Okay, this is N2LEN. We're continuing the um, installation of the um, Watts Electronics Bird 43 PEP adapter kit. Uh, here is the kit all taken out of the actually of the plastic bag. Um, comes with a 9 volt battery. This is actually the mounting um, bracket slug that's going to fit into the side of the Bird 43 where you can mount the LED meat, the LED light and the two switches. Here are the nuts and washers, lock washers for the switches and assembly. Uh, comes with uh, both uh, schematic diagram parts list and uh, quick installation notes on how to go ahead and mount it. Okay, we'll be back. And 2 okay. LEM. Uh, this is in 2 LEM with continued disassembly of the Bird 43 watt meter to install the P kit. There are four chromed number two flange screws, and they are, I'm going to say they're probably zinc with chrome uh, covering. And you remove these four screws one, two, three and four, and the way that, the, I guess the best way to do it is just to literally lie it flat on its um, back and then literally take the screws out while you're supporting the top of the meter. And then once you do that, the back plate will just um, lift off and expose uh, the inside of the actual meter assembly. And as you could see, the uh, through line the metering assembly, uh, pretty straightforward, uh, and the actual according to the instruction manual. And you want make sure just when you're doing this that you're, you know, you're on a padded surface. You don't want to mess up the meter or the case. Uh, this is actually almost a brand new meter, um, but anyway, uh, just be careful because you have the actual the element in the slug lock clip right here. That when you lay it on its face, you don't want to, God forbid, do any damage. Um, and we're going to continue with the installation. Um, I believe uh, straightforward the meter, uh, the actual, um, as you can see, the two mounting tabs, the holes that are right there on the actual peak uh, PC board for the peak kit is actually going to sit right on the two how uh, sit right on the positive and negative terminals of the meter and you want to attach the board to the meter uh, it says in the instructions uh, if your meter does not ex uh, have exactly 1.5 inch of spacing between its posts you could file out the negative a little bit to make it fit do not file out the positive side uh, only the negative side it helps uh, to place flat washes on both sides of the board to give it more uh, strength remember it's only be okay so basically this board is really being held in place just by the two uh, uh, posts, the positive and negative posts. And when we unscrew this, there's going to be washers there, and there'll be a flat washer under the board and then a flat washer over the board and then the nuts. Uh, so we'll get back. We're going to go ahead and loosen up the nuts, and we're going to go ahead and, and uh, drop the board in its place. We'll be back. We're going to begin the uh, to unscrew um, the actual nuts. Um, the coax cable that feeds. Uh, that literally screws into the bottom of the, the uh, through line is actually it comes up and this ca coax cable is wrapped around the meter um, and I'm gonna try to leave it that way it's actually wrapped around two or three times maybe one and a half times as you could see I'm gonna leave that like that and I ended up uh, I, I, I the actual I'm using a nut driver with a long socket uh, the 5 16 fit on I think the 8 millimeter uh, fits on a little bit snugger on the nuts. They look like they're brass. So uh, either 5 16 or 8 millimeter. I don't know what they actually called for, but I'm going to go ahead with the 8 millimeter. We'll let you know once I get the screws off how everything went. We'll be okay, back. I took off the first um, flat washer and then nut. And the spade, this is the positive terminal, which is the hot of the actual, uh, the coax. The flat washer is mounted under the spade, let me see if, you can, if I could come in there, you could see it. So there is a flat washer there, and then the the uh, half moon, the ring terminal, 
And then I would think that the meter board is going to go back on top, and then you would put the washer and nuts. So I'm, I'm assuming that the other side is exact. I'll let you know how everything fits when I um, how everything fits when I put the board back in with the cable where it is. I don't know if the cable needs to go on top. We'll see. N2 this is N2LEN. We uh, took off the two washers that are sitting right here, and the two nuts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mount. Uh, we're going to actually mount in the switch and LED holder on the side before we put the board back in, uh, so the uh, so there's space to mount the switches in the LED, and then the board will go in. The positive hot and the negative leads come. The terminals come off. Just leave the flat lower flat washes in its space. Then the hot lead literally goes to the top bolt. The negative comes out and goes right to the negative. The and then you have the two washers and nuts on top. We'll show you that in a minute. We'll get back to you. Let's. Go, we're going to go ahead and mount the um, the switch holder and attach the uh, LEDs, the LED and the two switches. Okay. We'll do that. I got to tell you, this is a beautiful. Uh, really, I mean, that slipped right in there. It fits in there beautifully. The uh, the spin lock on the top. This is actually beveled out, so the spin lock uh, literally holds it right in place. And it literally makes it so you could remove it at any time without any, without doing any mods to the case. What a great, what a great job. Kudos. Matthew uh, Bacchetta, Watts Electronics. Great kit. This is n 2 with another quick video clip. Here is the... Watts Electronics uh, Bird 43 PEP adapter kit PC board installed. So it literally just sits right on top of the two positive and negative posts. The you remove the you remove the positive lead off the positive terminal and the negative lead off the negative terminal. Um, you also take off the top flat washers and nuts. Leave the bottom flat washers on. So there's a flat washer under the board where the PC board sits on top. The uh, hot goes right to here. This is the coax point for the positive. And then the negative goes right to the negative lead. And uh, that's basically it. Let me move this light out of the way so maybe you could see a little. I'll zoom in on it so you can actually see what that looks like. Okay, and it sits in there nice and snug. I used a um, 5 16 for these and a 9 millimeter nut for that. Uh, just, uh, you know, hand tighten. Be careful. You know, you don't want to snap the terminal. It is a terminal that's mounted to a PC board. And that's basically it. We're going to go ahead and mount the switch assembly. We'll be in with another quick video clip. We removed the, um, the coax for the actual uh, the meter. Uh, we snapped in the actual mount for the switches and the LED. As you can see that. We're going to go ahead and mount the switches first. Um, and then the board. We'll put the coax back in the way that it was. And then the board. Uh, we'll be back. This is N2LEN with another quick video clip. Here is the final installation of the Watts Electronics N2YCK. November 2 Yankee Charlie Kilos. Um, Bird 43 PEP adapter kit with two times five times uh, multiplication. Uh, I actually I, I used everything that he sent me, including the nine volt battery. I just used some double sided stick tape to drop the battery in there. Um, you can see how the cables are run. The cable that feeds the the through line runs under the board. Um, it wraps around the meter several times. You can see how the switches are mounted. Let's see if I could put this on its side so you can see this. I gotta put it all back together. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. And this is a. Uh, you know, two position, center off, off, on, off, on. And we're going to do the uh, the calibration in a minute. I'm just going to make sure that the cover fits on it. And 
and uh, pretty uh, pretty neat install. There is a Phillips screw that comes that actually is um, on this particular screw for the coax lead. There is a Phillips head screw that comes back through the top, through the bottom, and then there's a second nut under it. You may want to just double check that that nut and then that uh, bolt and that nut is tight. Um, and that's it. Flat washes. First set of flat washes are right here. No adjustments have been made. Uh, we're going to go through the procedure that's provided with the, um, the instruction manual. And that's about it. So that's uh, the final installation. See how that LED light fits right in there and you can see what I did was, uh, if you mount, you want to mount this, you want to slide this this actual switch holder and LED holder in its spot, and then mount the switches to the back of it once it's locked in. Because if you mount the switches while it's out, you can't actually fit it back in. So you want to back mount the switches with th with this. plate switch and LED holder installed in the meter first. Send to LEN, same best set LEN with another quick video clip. Just uh, completed the uh, calibration, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. It's good if you have a second person to watch the meter while you do it from the back, but there are five VRs and a calibration button. You just basically follow the instructions and then you use a, you know, a screwdriver and you just turn the, you adjust the VRs until the meter deflection goes right where it says in the instructions. Uh, you calibrate it for basically for CW and average position and then for PEP and then you calibrate the range extender for two times and five times uh, multiplication factor. So basically uh, we'll go through the procedure real quick. I'm not gonna, I, I've already made the adjustments. Uh, first thing I did was zero out the meter with the, with the, uh, the center. Just want to make sure that the meter is at zero. And then it basically says in the instructions, um, with the switch in the CW or average position um, and the range extender in the center position, press the calibrate switch and then adjust VR3. So basically, I'm going to mark this, you know, CW and average, but CW is basically uh, to, the to the left. And then when the LED is on, that's uh, sideband and uh, PEP. This three position switch is off, two times off, five times. So we're gonna leave that in the center and then leave this in the CW and then you press the button and then you should have full uh, scale deflection. On my meter, I had to adjust it a little bit. Let me get my finger on it. It's hard to do it with the thing, but here we go. We're gonna do that test. We'll press the button and you can see it's right at the scale. Okay. Um, Next, then uh, switch to PEP or sideband. You just flip that switch over, and then we you're going to adjust um, uh, VR1. So it was VR3 for the CW and average, and then VR1 for full scale deflection. Let me press the button. I already made the adjustment, and you could see it. Let's see if I can get in there and get the button in there. Hold on one second. It's hard to do this. There we go. And there you go, that's the PEP. Okay, return on number three, C, it says return the CW position, return to CW position and switch the range extender to, uh, to the up for the two times and then adjust VR4 to read 50 on the 100 scale. So we flip that switch off, flip this up to the two times magnification and then you're gonna be on the bottom scale which you could see is the 100 scale right on the bottom. And you want to be right at the 50 mark, which is right between the 40 and the 60 dead center there. And when, and it's going to take some time for the meter to deflect. Let me get the button here. And you could see how that goes. There you go. So that's 50. There you go. All right. And then uh, basically uh, set the, we're going to go to D. Um, D is uh, set the range extender switch to the down position for the five times extension, which we just did. 
and adjust uh, VR5 uh, for the 20 on the scale. And if you want something other than two times a five, and then adjust, you know, you could uh, you could make the multiplication factor really what you want. So I switched it down, and it should read on the 20 scale, and you adjust VR5. So let's see, 20 is the, right here. And uh, let me see if I can get the button. Sorry for moving the... Uh... And there you go. That's basically it. The last thing says VR3, uh, VR2 sets the amount of uh, hang time in the, PA, the PEP mode. So for sideband, you could adjust the way the meter deflex uh, to your audio peaks. I guess it's like a uh, AGC to suit your, yourself. Uh, to suit yourself. And that's basically it. Great kit. I want to thank uh, Matt uh, Bacchetta. And to uh, YK, uh, YCK for a great product. It works beautifully. I'm sure I'm going to get many good years of use out of it. And there it is installed. All the VRs, as you can see, they are marked VR1 through 5 and then the switch. This is N2LEN saying, best 7.3 on the Watts, of, uh, Watts Electronics installation of the Bird 43 PEP adapter kit. Best 7.3.